Talking to Your Kids About Sex is a book that has been near and dear to my heart for a long time. It's one that I've been really excited to write uh, forever. As a mom of three boys ranging from age three to 12, I think it's so important to give our kids the resources and the tools that they need to live healthy, long, successful lives. And part of that is really educating them not only around their bodies, but around sexuality. For so many years, I've been working with parents to help them with the tools they need to raise sexually healthy kids. And so this book is really a culmination of all that I've learned through the years about what goes into raising a sexually healthy child and also based on all the feedback that I've gotten through the years. Sex education actually starts at birth. From a very early age, there are tasks as your children's sex educator that you should be focusing on. So for instance, in early childhood and toddlerhood, you're really focusing on teaching them the correct names of their body parts, setting the foundation for positive body image and self-esteem. As they move into later childhood and get close to adolescence, you may be talking to them more about the physical changes and the emotional changes that they should expect as they move through adolescence. As they get older, you're starting to talk to them more about the specifics of sexuality, what to expect out of a romantic relationship, out of potentially a sexual relationship. It's an ongoing process and at each stage of development, children face different challenges. This book, Talking to Your Kids About Sex, really guides parents through each of those stages so that they know what and how to address those challenges that their children face at every stage of development. A good portion of the book really helps parents understand the benefits and in fact the risks of the internet and the World Wide Web and the networking sites and the ways in which children and teenagers can be at risk not only for sexual predators but for being bombarded with sexual information that they aren't ready for and that they can't process. The gift that we have as parents is that if we take the opportunity, we can set the context, we can set the values. You don't want to wait for that to be set by their friends or the media. You want to keep setting that and reinforcing that all the way through their childhood into adolescence. Mm -hmm.